Let's talk about four different scenarios or situations where we use a chi-squared test of significance. The first one is called the chi-squared goodness of fit test. When do we use a chi-squared goodness of fit test? We use it if we want to know whether the distribution of a variable is equal to a hypothesized distribution. Let's give you an example to make it more clear. If we want to know whether the ethnic distribution of new U.S. citizens that are currently becoming citizens of the United States is the same as the ethnic distribution of people that became citizens in 1950, we would conduct a goodness of fit test. The hypothesized distribution in this example would be the distribution, the ethnic distribution of the people that were becoming citizens in 1950. The second chi-squared test is the test of homogeneity. When do we use this test? We use this test if we want to determine whether the distribution of a variable is the same in two or more populations. In this scenario, we are sampling from two or more populations. Here's the example. Is the distribution of smoking status the same amongst people who work more than 60 hours per week and people who work 40 hours per week. The two different populations in this problem are the population of people that work more than 60 hours per week and the population of people that work 40 hours per week. Using this test we can determine whether the smoking status is the same in these two populations. Let's talk about the third situation. The third is the chi-squared test of independence or association. This test is used to determine whether two categorical variables are independent or not. In this case, we are sampling from only one population. Here's an example. In the population of individuals who have had a heart attack, is survival beyond two years independent of the treatment received at the time of the heart attack, whether it would be angioplasty, bypass surgery, or medication therapy? In this scenario, what we do is we look at and we sample from the population of people that have had a heart attack. We, calc or we get data on two variables from everybody in our sample. Each individual, we determine whether they survived beyond two years from their heart attack. That's a yes-no. Did you survive greater than two years or not? And the second data that we collect is the treatment received at the time of the heart attack. We put this information into a two-way table and we can determine using the chi-squared test of independence whether survival beyond two years is independent of the treatment received. The last test is the chi-squared test for population variance. This hypothesis test is much more like the when we tested a claim about the population mean or the population proportion. Here we are just doing a test of significance about a population variance or population standard deviation. Here is our example. Is the population standard deviation of commute times in your home state equal to 25 minutes, that would be your null hypothesis, versus less than 25 minutes? There's your alternative hypothesis. So as a recap, we use the chi-squared test in four different scenarios. The chi-squared test, goodness of fit test, the chi-squared test of homogeneity, chi-squared test of independence, and we can test a claim about the population variance.